Hi, I'm Soichiro Yoshida, audio marketing specialist at Yamaha's headquarters in Japan. Thank you for joining us at our showcase event. Throughout our history, the core aim of Yamaha's audio business has always been to deliver the best possible sound. To achieve consistently high quality sound throughout our systems, we have developed products which cover the whole audio path from mixers all the way to loudspeakers. Nowadays, we must also create audio solutions with products that are easy to use and are flexible enough to meet the fast-changing needs of users. And today, we are pleased to show you our latest technologies to meet all of these demands. The showcase will be presented in two sessions. The first session shows our next generation technologies for network infrastructures. The challenges of the COVID-19 pandemic have increased the demand for more efficient operation to achieve better and easier ways of working. These new networking technologies are designed to deliver those goals. In the second session, we will present our new immersive audio solution. Based on a musical legacy that grew from acoustic consulting, we offer total acoustic control, letting you change the acoustic character of a space with sound so natural that users are completely immersed without distractions. Today, we are presenting the latest and most significant improvement to these systems. It will let you create unique, exciting new experiences for the immersive sound market and we are pleased to announce that it will be released very soon. We are looking forward to sharing these innovations with you. We hope you enjoy the session and will learn more about what we can achieve in the months and years ahead. Of course, if you would like further information after the sessions, we will be happy to hear from you. Now I'd like to hand over to my colleague Andy in UK for the first session. Now, we cannot conclude any audio system discussion, nor complete any audio system design these days without considering the network infrastructure. Professional audio systems have benefited in so many ways by adopting and adapting technologies that originate from the IT industry. Through this transition, Yamaha has not allowed any compromise to sound quality, functionality, or ease of use. Indeed, we could argue that these three points are continually improving further. Let me introduce some current and highly relevant examples of such progress. Firstly, SMPTE ST2110, a suite of new standards being adopted by the broadcast industry. Since last month, Yamaha has a range of products that now work with ST2110-30 the PCM digital audio part of the standard. I'll tell you more in a moment. Secondly, distant mixing. Due to COVID, the demand for remote mixing is increasing, where the engineer is in a different location to the performance. As network specialists, Yamaha is investigating various solutions and running some field trials. My colleague Chris will provide some technical details about how you can achieve distant mixing. Lastly, remote monitoring. In a similar manner to distant mixing, the demand for remote system monitoring has increased during the last 12 months. Yamaha already has a solution for monitoring the whole system, but today we'd like to provide some clues about the future of remote monitoring. So back to ST2110. This is the new suite of standards for IP broadcast systems and is being adopted globally, not only as the replacement of traditional SDI based systems, but as a facilitator for cloud based production. Sync, video, audio and ancillary data signals are all handled over Ethernet, revolutionizing the flexibility of design and reducing the cost of systems. During the last few years, Yamaha has participated actively in plug fests and tests, discussions and decisions with IBC in Europe, NAB in USA, AMWA, the Advanced Media Workflow Association, AIMS, the Alliance for IP Media Solutions, and OCA, the Open Control Architecture. 
We may not always be the first to bring a solution to market, but you can rely on us to keep testing and refining internally until the user experience is of a high enough standard. Hence our continued development of cross-party solutions with other interested companies to improve the level of integration between Dante-based devices and other equipment to be found in our ST2110 system. While most of Yamaha's Dante devices already support the option of multicast transmission with AES67 compatibility, the rollout of ST2110 has just started with the latest firmware upgrade to our CL and QL series of mixers in March 2021. That is version 5.7. CL and QL series are globally recognized as high quality and versatile digital mixers well suited to broadcast applications. And along with the complete R series and newer RIO D2 series of interface units, as well as the Dante MY16 AUD2 module, they can all integrate with other ST2110 equipment in combination with Dante Domain Manager. DDM is Ordinate's software toolkit that manages multiple user access, auditing and authentication to control and monitor your Dante media network. Well, DDM simplifies the configuration and management of compatible Dante devices in a ST2110 system. And remember, DDM also facilitates remote mixing workflows, including audio monitoring. A further benefit of Dante Domain Manager is its support for cross-subnet audio routing. And that's where Yamaha has another new and helpful offering. Our first Layer 3 network switch for professional audio applications, the SWX3220 16MT was launched at the end of March, perfect for linking multiple subnets with Dante Domain Manager. And it has a sibling, the Layer 2 Intelligent SWX2320 16MT. Both of these switches will find their place in ST2110 systems with their support for PTP version 2 transparent clocking. Why is this relevant? Precision Time Protocol version 2 is the network synchronization protocol used in both AES67 and SMPT ST2110 networked media systems. While it doesn't improve sound quality at all, PTP v2 provides more detailed synchronization settings demanded by top broadcast establishments where their networks can be linked by orbiting satellites and they will dwarf the size of those typically used in live sound applications. On top of those features, this pair of switches can carry up to 5 gigabits per second of data over a regular Cat5e or Cat6 network cable. This will allow, for example, a large system to upgrade from 48 kilohertz to 96 kilohertz without needing to change their cables. With 10 gigabit networks also supported, network capacity can now increase from hundreds to thousands of audio channels. To understand the details of these technologies, we recommend to attend our Audioversity. We first set up our YCATS system of commercial audio training seminars back in 2004 and it's recently developed into Audioversity, including webinars and videos, as well as face-to-face -face classes. Where there's relevant new audio technology, we will be there to provide the necessary training and support. Let me hand over to Chris Angel, who's going to update you about distant mixing. The past year has seen an understandable rise in the need for remote production, mixing and operating capabilities. As engineers and operational staff have often been unable to travel to production sites or to visit installed systems. Even once COVID-related restrictions can be lifted, 
many are expecting that this will remain a long-term trend. Now, a little earlier, Andy mentioned that DDM could be used to help facilitate remote audio transportation across a wide area network. But DDM is in fact only one of several solutions available to take care of the audio side of the equation. And we'll come on to that with a little more detail a bit later on. But for now, let's explore remote console control from remote locations. Now, Yamaha's digital mixing systems have long had the capability to be remote controlled. In fact, for decades, through the use of our comprehensive editor software, which is available for each and every console. This easily allows for comprehensive remote control via a computer interface. But for obvious reasons, this is not always ideal for live mixing, as it does not allow for the engineer to fully replicate the physical experience of mixing a show on a tactile control surface. Well, Yamaha's Rivage PM range of digital mixing console systems was designed from the outset with remote mixing in mind. Hence, we are now seeing remote productions and leading rental companies using Rivage PM across the world for streaming and broadcast events. With a remotely located control surface, controlling another Rivage PM surface or engine in a distant studio or venue. So together with various solutions already available on the market today, remote mixing and production from a distant Yamaha console can be easily and securely achieved. So let us briefly take a look into how to achieve remote console to console control. Now Yamaha's Rivage PM range allows for two control surfaces to be simultaneously connected to a DSP engine via a standard IP network. Once each control surface has network connectivity to the outside world, then it is simple to link it to a DSP engine in a venue or studio across at least fiber link or using the internet. Or even for a local control surface to be connected to a remotely located control surface, be that in a different room of the same building or on the other side of the world entirely. If not able to access a dedicated least fiber link between locations, then we suggest the use of high quality VPN solutions, which are commonplace in the IT world, to create a secure and stable ethernet tunnel between each location using the internet. Specifically, we suggest using dedicated hardware-based VPN solutions, which are typically easier to set up and deploy than software-based VPNs. Nearly full console functionality is possible by this method. And for CL and QL consoles, there are various third-party solutions available to achieve console-to-console -console remote control via the internet or again via leased links. If using a VPN-based solution via the public internet, then we recommend a minimum uplink downlink speed of at least 50 meg for Rivage PM. A little less would be okay for CL and QL. So what about remote audio? Well, the need to pass real-time high-quality audio between distant locations is certainly not a new requirement. Broadcasters have been doing just this for many years now. But up until quite recently, the cost of solutions has been relatively high. But now, lower cost solutions are available. In recent years, various software-based multi-channel solutions for passing high-quality audio across a WAN have been developed. In some cases, these can allow for up to 64 channels or 48K 24-bit PCM audio to be sent and received bi-directionally with latency options. We have tested numerous solutions and found that they can all work very well under optimum WAN connectivity conditions. Now, as mentioned earlier, it can also be feasible to use Dante across a WAN when using DDM. Under normal circumstances, sending Dante across a WAN is just not possible because of the need to keep clock sync between devices at each end of the network, which is usually just not feasible over a wide area network due to the inevitable timing differences. But there is a method available to lock sync across a WAN to help solve this problem. Of course, sending and receiving multi-channel PCM standard audio using the internet will again require excellent bandwidth, but it's pretty simple to calculate the required bandwidth for PCM audio on a per channel basis. Some solutions can make use of high quality compressed audio codecs, which will help reduce the bandwidth requirements. But for a reasonable number of channels on top of console control data, a minimum bandwidth of around 100 meg will likely be required. Now today we don't have enough time to talk about all of this in deep detail, but we will return to this in the future. Like the increased need for remote production, the demand for remote monitoring of installed systems was already increasing before COVID. So we'd like to talk a little about our solutions for this too. 
Available as a free download for the past few years are Provision Air Control and Provision Air Touch software applications provide unified remote control and monitoring of your Yamaha Pro Audio systems across a local area network using any suitable Windows, computer or Apple tablet. A broad range of our network devices are supported, including the vast majority of our digital console ranges to our processors and amplifier ranges, including products from Nexo. For system status monitoring, Provision Air Control features a dedicated monitoring service, making it simple to monitor the status of system devices. Alerts and log data can be recorded to a computer. For installations, Provision Air Monitoring Service allows the user to monitor and manage the entire system from a single interface. System faults can be easily found and interpreted, allowing the operator to respond and quickly solve any problems that may occur. Detailed device logs can be viewed to precisely find out where and when problems originated to help establish what may have caused the problem. Even potential problems that may have gradually built up over time, such as any system overheating or power supply issues, can be detected and viewed. So Provision Air Control is not only an invaluable and essential control tool, it can also be used for keeping track of your system's health and status, as well as assisting to prevent, detect and solve problems. Today, we are delighted to say that by utilizing the R&D skills and resources of the whole Yamaha group, together with our extensive knowledge and experience in IT networking and solutions, we can announce that we are working towards a cloud-based solution for provision air control, which, in the near future, will allow users to securely manage, monitor, and control multiple Yamaha Pro Audio network systems from any location around the world, all through one single unified cloud and subscription-based platform. Now let's move on to the main reason for today's event. I hope you enjoy that quick introduction to the audio network technologies we have been working on. We are sure they will provide more reliable and efficient solutions, giving customers better experiences and enhancing what the professional sound industry can deliver. Yamaha has been at the forefront of acoustic design and immersive audio for more than 50 years. Since then, we have carried out hundreds of projects, developing new methods and products to improve what is possible. In the next session, we will introduce our latest immersive audio solution with more new and exciting products. These will let you flexibly control an acoustic space and create content which pushes the limits of your imagination. Let's look at the video first. Every performance begins with the same goal, to move your audience. And any performance, a concert, an installation, an event, begins with the space. But just having a great space doesn't mean it's the right space. What if you could change it? Not just move your audience, but transport them. Transport them from your space to a cathedral. Or a forest. Or the perfect theater. Imagine the possibilities if you could move your audience by moving sound around them. So individual elements, single instruments even, could come from above them, beside them, any way that you could dream it. If you could do that, the possibilities would be endless.
Yamaha Immersive Sound. With AFC Enhance and AFC Image, imagine the possibilities. Hi, I'm Brian McDonald with Yamaha Research and Development. I'd like to take a moment to share with you the work we've been doing here at Yamaha in the field of immersive sound. For over half a century, Yamaha has been a pioneer in acoustics and electronic acoustic enhancement. Some of you may be familiar with our AFC or active field control systems. From AFC-1 first hitting the market in 2003 to the introduction of AFC-4 at Infocom 2019, Yamaha AFC systems have graced stages, enhanced experiences at sporting venues, and have been at the heart of ingenious installation pieces. Building on the global presence of AFC, we'd now like to present two key products which will be at the core of the Yamaha Immersive Solution, AFC Enhance and AFC Image. If you're familiar with our previous AFC systems, you'll know that we've developed technologies to flexibly control the atmosphere of a space. AFC Enhance is our modular regenerative system that enhances the sound of a space, making use of the natural acoustic properties of its existing structure. A relatively dead acoustic space that may be fine for speech might lack depth for the performance of music, making it difficult for the performers and the audience to enjoy the sound. An AFC Enhance system transforms a space through electronic means, creating an ideal sonic environment, not only for those performing, but for everyone in the space. A total transformation where even applause is realized in this ideal acoustic environment. Now, once you're in your perfect space, what if you can manipulate the location of your sound sources? With AFC Image, you can move sound objects around or even outside of your space. Sound effects can be sourced and moved with pinpoint accuracy. Location awareness of performers can be controlled with the touch of a screen or even by radio tracking device. AFC Image gives you control of your sound in a way we have never presented before. Combining AFC Enhance and AFC Image is just the start of how Yamaha supports you in creating a sonic experience you've only once imagined possible. We'll talk more about AFC Enhance and AFC Image shortly, but I'd also like to share with you some of the additional areas we are exploring for the Yamaha Immersive Solution. Not only are we developing solutions for PA systems, but we are also working to bring the pre-production process to the Yamaha Immersive Solution. With integrated DAW-based conversion functions in Steinberg's Nuendo that translate the studio to the venue, realizing your sonic vision prior to even setting foot in a performance space is a reality. Pre-production isn't just limited to creating amazing content, it can also be system design. That's why we're developing and integrating system design tools like Nexo's NS1 into the Yamaha Immersive Solution. Yamaha Immersive Solutions can't be developed by one division of Yamaha alone. We have gathered from all parts of Yamaha to collaborate. Experts from Steinberg, Yamaha, and Nexo have all come together to achieve these new technological feats. We are extremely happy to launch AFC Enhance and AFC Image, and we look forward to all the exciting projects you will produce. Now, to go deeper into the technology and features behind AFC Image, AFC Enhance, and the new tools that will be incorporated for the Yamaha Immersive Solution, I am joined by my colleagues, Delphine Hannatin and Ron Backer from Yamaha Europe, as well as Francois Defarge from Nexo. Welcome, everyone. I think a good way to start this conversation is to take a look at the Yamaha Immersive Ecosystem. After that, we can approach the Yamaha Immersive Solution, including AFC Enhance and AFC Image, by taking a journey through the user's creative process and highlighting some of the innovative features Yamaha can offer. So let's start with the basics, where we've been and where we are now. Ron Backer has been involved in several AFC projects, including AFC 3 and AFC 4. Before we take this journey through the creative process, he's going to tell us more about AFC Enhance and how it creates the foundation of venue acoustics and supports AFC Image. Ron? Thanks, Brian. 
Acoustic enhancement works by picking up a room's reflections using a set of microphones and processing them for playback into the same room using multiple loudspeakers. This creates a tightly controlled diffuse feedback loop, enhancing the room's acoustic field. That means that the enhanced room has a natural response exactly the same as natural acoustics would have. It's not an effect, it's the real thing. This hybrid regenerative method was invented by Yamaha back in the 80s. Back then, Yamaha's architectural acoustics division joined up with the Pro Audio division, who were already doing pioneering work on digital signal processing. And this resulted in the Active Field Control System, or AFC for short. Since then, more than 30 years later, AFC has evolved to a fourth generation, which we now have simply named AFC Enhance. AFC has been very successful. In the past 35 years, more than 150 systems have been installed worldwide, from rehearsal rooms to theaters, to multipurpose halls, concert halls, opera houses, congress centers, and even sports arenas. I think it's fair to say that AFC allows us to completely control any acoustic environment to support any music genre at an exceptionally high quality. Back to Brian. Thanks, Ron. AFC Enhance sets the foundation of your immersive experience by creating the acoustic environment where your performance will live. And at the center is the AFC processing engine. Now that we have a place to perform, let's get started with our journey through the Yamaha immersive process, starting with pre-production. Ron told us about AFC Enhance and how we can create the perfect space. Now let's explore the creative process of developing immersive performances. Our colleague Delphine Hannaton from Yamaha R&D Europe will now take us through the creative process and how Yamaha can be a part of this important development stage. Delphine? Thank you, Brian. An immersive performance first has to be conceived by the creative minds of this world. This means that composers, sound designers, and sound engineers have to be able to start with creative conception anywhere at any time, without the need to buy expensive hardware or being limited to create content only in a venue where an immersive system is installed. We think that this phase of immersive projects should be supported by a commonly available immersive digital audio workstation software platform. Immersive DAW platforms have been around for more than 10 years now and we invite any platform to support our immersive system as well. We, of course, start with our own Steinberg Nuendo. It's a piece of software, affordable for most people, and it can be deployed in any studio environment with a simple channel-based monitoring system. This allows composers and sound designers to start working on immersive projects without high investments. Nuendo supports formats from 5.1, 2 d surround, all the way up to 22.2, 3 d surround. Nuendo is an established immersive pre-production platform supporting Dolby Atmos and New Sono mixing for more than 10 years. Now, EFC Image is also supported with the free choice for each object to be used in channel or object mode. There is also support for ad hoc loudspeaker configurations in studios and rehearsal halls. Nuendo can even import ADM format projects from other DAWs such as Pro Tools. To support other platforms directly, we will publish the immersive VST plugin at a later time to run in any VST compatible system. A Nuendo system can be as small as a laptop with an IO interface, all the way to a full size Dante based studio environment with a dedicated hardware controller. So, we've got the pre-production phase covered for any size and budget. Thanks, Delphine. Yamaha and Steinberg make a great team. This is the kind of collaboration within Yamaha that allows for the Yamaha Immersive Solution to truly have tools at all stages of the immersive production process. 
Speaking of collaboration within the Yamaha family, we also need an immersive speaker system to be designed. Francois Defarge, Nexo Engineering Support Director, will tell us how Nexo is contributing to the design process of AFC. Thank you, Brian. As many know, one of the challenges in immersive technologies is delivering a unique personal creation to an audience and making sure that everyone, without exception, enjoys it. This has to be anticipated at system design stage, and reliable design tools are required. To support design work for the new AFC system, we created a major revision of Nexo NS1 software. First, we added the entire range of Yamaha loudspeakers to the NS1 library, including Yamaha's VXS and installation series point source speakers, the VXL compact line arrays, the VXC series ceiling mount speakers, the CBR and CZR series sound reinforcement speakers, and last but not least, the complete range of powered speakers in the DBR, DXR and DZR series. This all on top of the Nexo range, including ID series and P series point source speakers, as well as the GOM and STM ranges of high power line arrays. So now it's possible to design systems using the widest available loudspeaker offer on the market provided by Nexo and Yamaha integration. The existing fast and easy workflow of NS1 is kept. Import the venue model from a wide variety of formats, including Ease, SketchUp via Colada, Google Earth and STL files, or design a venue from scratch using a photo or PDF. Then add the venue frame and audience area, then the speakers. After this, we can do all necessary SPL simulations to confirm that the design can meet the system goals and produce visual outputs for system proposals. In addition to SPL simulation, we add a new function named Loudspeaker Immersive System Index. Based on a Yamaha proprietary immersive algorithm, this index provides a visualization of immersive resolution in the venue, indicating how good the loudspeaker system can reinforce immersive performances. The index visualization is not just for the sweet spot, which is usually taken by the FOH mixing engineer. Instead, it covers all seats in the venue. With our design workflow, we can support all AFC Enhance and AFC Image applications, such as Research Immersive Labs, Immersive Video Mapping, Extended Stereo Stage and Surrounds, Immersive and Hybrid Regenerative Enhancements. Finally, the NS1 upgrade supports the export of speaker system positions, angles, gains and delays to support not only AFC image, but also to be imported into any other immersive rendering processor. Back to you, Brian. So the performance is ready to go. A speaker system is in place. But what now? Ron will now tell us what a live sound engineer can expect to find when he or she arrives in a venue equipped with an AFC system. The AFC processing computer supports 32 inputs and 96 outputs for the AFC enhanced processing and 128 inputs and 64 outputs for the AFC image processing, including 3D reverberation and binaural rendering. Of course, there can only be one loudspeaker system in a performance venue. Installing multiple systems makes no sense. This means that any immersive loudspeaker system should also fully support visiting productions using any immersive renderer, not just AFC image. This is why the AFC processing computer includes support for up to 96 channels from any third-party system with transparent one-to-one -one access to the system's Yamaha and Nexo loudspeakers. To cope with such a huge infrastructure, the AFC processing computer supports two Yamaha AIC 128 Dante interface cards for a total of 256 channels in and out. 
This supports AFC Enhance, AFC Image and external systems all at the same time. Now that we have an amazing performance space thanks to AFC Enhance and our integrated design tools, and we have some amazing content that we've created in Nuendo, let's dive in to how we can control AFC Image. Delphine will walk us through the many ways we provide control for both object and channel-based audio content. Thank you, Brian. As you can see, the AFC Image system allows for many live control tools to be used simultaneously. I would like to go through them one by one. First, by connecting your DAW to the AFCI, your OSC object control messages will be sent directly to the processor to reproduce all the movements and positioning you prepared during the creative part. You can also use your mixing desk to control your objects in real time. A dedicated PAN functionality has been developed for the CLQL series and, of course, for the Revive PN series. As you can see on this top view, we will be able to control the object position on the X, Y and Z axis. Control can be done via the screen encoders located just below your screen or by dragging your object with your finger directly within the square. We will also control the width and height of the object. You are not limited to the Yamaha mixers. Any third-party control platform can be used, such as Max, Unity, Lemur, QLab, TouchOSC. The communication between the EFC processor and these control platforms can be user-programmed using the Yamaha version of the Open System Control Protocol, or OSC. You probably already know that AFC objects can be controlled directly by using a tracker system such as Stage Tracker. Put a tag on your actors or musicians and their audio signal will move with them. And in a future update, BlackTrack's system will be also supported. Well, let's have a look at the EFC graphic user interface, which lets you set up and control your immersive show. After importing the speaker positions from the Nexo NS1 software or entering their position manually, this page shows you all speakers in a system. Next step is to define a speaker zone. A zone is a representation of an area in a hall with many speakers to play the sound objects. This zone one includes all the speakers in the system in a square shape, similar to the square panning surface you'll see on a mixing console or Nuendo. The EFC image software offered the possibility to use 16 points to translate square shape on the mixing console to perfectly match the actual old shape. One of our unique features is to be able to create up to 32 zones each focusing on a dedicated area of the hall. This allows for the mixing engineer to place each object in the zone, making immersive mixing more intuitive and easier. In this example, the main zone includes both stage and audience. We can add a zone for sounds that happen only on the stage, for example, a rock band, and an additional zone for sounds that should be located only in the hall. For example, sound effects and reverberation. It is a very versatile work mode, giving you full flexibility to deploy immersive audio to any venue, no matter how complex. The reverb provided by our AFCI system is a full 3D reverb based on high-resolution impulse responses, responding to where the objects are mixed. The reverberation engine has many parameters and allows you to design it to perfectly fit your virtual environment. To summarize, up to 128 objects, 32 zones and 3D reverb, speaker position import, all of this 
is all inside this intuitive WinMax software application. If you prefer controlling your object by using a touch screen on a tablet PC or an iPad, a web browser connection is available for a more tactile experience. Simply enter your processor IP address in your favorite browser and you're ready to start. One question should remain. How do I listen to what I'm creating, performing or post-producing? The AFCI processor integrates a binaural rendering engine, which can be used all through your artistic process. Mode 1. FOH monitoring. During your performance, you just plug in your headphone and listen to your object sound at their position. Mode 2. For creation, live streaming and post-production, just use the binaural tool at the renderer to be able to work in your studio during the creation or post-production process. Or in your control room for a binaural live streaming. Thank you to Ron, Francois, and Delphine. Before we conclude this section of today's event, you might want to know what you can order from Yamaha right now. Ron, can you summarize? The AFC processing computer comes in three sizes of AFC enhanced support. AFC 402 for basic single area enhancement, AFC 404 for multiple area enhancement, and AFC 406 for complex area enhancement. All three have a small scale 16 object version of AFC image built in, with an upgrade to the full version with 128 objects available as option. The control software for AFC Image can be downloaded free of charge from the Yamaha website soon. Then, all QL, CL and Revast PM mixing consoles will get a free of charge firmware upgrade to control AFC Image objects. The VST Multipanner plugin is already included in Nuendo 11 and it will be released later to use in other VST compatible digital audio workstations. TTA Stage Tracker already supports AFC as a standard, and other tracking systems may follow in the future. The Yamaha OSC protocol will be published on our website. The protocol can be used to create tailor-made user interfaces by third-party products and software. Finally, the NS1 Immersive System Configuration software can be downloaded free of charge from the Nexo website soon. Back to you, Brian. So where does this lead us? Yamaha Research and Development is working hard across the continents to explore and develop emerging technologies. With the combined efforts of teams from Yamaha, Nexo, and Steinberg, we look to the future of the Sonic experience. We know that Yamaha as a whole is in a unique position with teams focused not only on the reproduction of sound, but also the way it is created, delivered, and controlled. Today, we introduced Yamaha's entry into immersive sound systems with AFC Enhance and AFC Image. We spoke about information technology accomplishments destined to expand the reach of live entertainment. But how are these two topics related, and where will they take us? AFC Enhance and AFC Image allow spectators and artists to share emotions by sharing the same physical space. By using AFC Enhance to put the audience in the same electronically enhanced acoustic space as the performer, and AFC Image to accurately position object-based audio in that space, we connect them in a whole new way. But is that connection enough? Lifestyles change, and the future of live entertainment may no longer simply be an on-site event. So how can the on-site event conform to the ever-changing way people consume entertainment? Is the future off-site? Delivery to public spaces, private homes, or even directly to the individual audience member through VR? What if the off-site could deliver an on-site experience. 
can we create not only the sounds from the stage, but also the environment, the ambience, the audience itself? And can reproducing the sound alone create a connection between artist and audience? What would happen if there were no boundaries between on-site and off-site? What if the off-site audience could connect with the performers just like the on-site audience? Yamaha engineers specializing in spatial audio, information technology, and much more are considering how to make this a reality. Off-site to on-site to create emotional connections beyond the physical space. Today was just the first step, one step forward toward our immersive technology goals and one step closer to our imagined future. Hello, I'm Shinji Takenaga, Operating Officer of Yamaha Corporation. Thank you for joining us today. I hope you have enjoyed the sessions. 2020 was an extremely difficult year for all of us in the pro audio industry. But as a leading company, Yamaha is committed more to invest into the new technology development which we strongly hope will help revitalize the industry. Expecting the pandemic will soon be over, Yamaha, Steinberg, and Nexo as a group company would like to be a strong partner of older industry people, offering the possibilities to design new sound experience and improve the workflow efficiency. We are planning to launch exciting new products more to come in 2021. So please stay tuned, stay safe, and we are looking forward to the next opportunity. Thank you very much.